Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Korean BA, KP, whatever you want to call me. I'm live on Twitch, so you haven't already, please go in the description, follow me on Twitch. I'm usually in there live every single day, designing, making cool shit, showing y'all new shit. So I appreciate y'all for going ahead and follow me on Twitch, link in the description. I'm here today to show you guys the brand new mock-up pack. Me and my boy DB came together, uh, decided to get a brand new Zippo mock-up pack for the winter and want all my brand owners and everybody to be ready for what's coming. Um, so I'm just go ahead and show. Let's get right into it. So wherever you guys put the PSD file, um, it'll be on my website. Link in the description as well. So if you want to go ahead and grab it, please go into the description. Uh, it's down there for you guys to purchase. It supports me and him together. So I appreciate y'all if you went ahead and copped. There's a bunch of other mock-up packs on there. We put new mock-up packs every few months, so you guys can keep on creating great pieces. So if you want to go ahead, just go ahead and open up the PSD file. As soon as you open it up, if you have Photoshop already, it'll open up like this. There's a cover. Um, you can close it, delete it, whatever. It's just to show you guys a zip up mock-up pack just for labeling purposes. Um, just want to go ahead and take it off automatically. At the end of the layers, you see the background. Um, that's, you can take it off if you want your PNG. I know some people on their websites, they have like a green screen or or like a green background image. You can go ahead and take that background off. Um, so you can go ahead and play with it. Whatever you feel, please. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I prefer to have my shit white or if I don't have it on at all, PNG, just like I can put it on something else. I've been using black a lot lately, so uh, sometimes I change it on the black depending on what color the hoodie is. Add a little texture on top to make it pop per se. Um, Anyways, it comes with a front and a back view. As you can see, this is the back view. If you want the front, if you want just the back, turn off the front. If you want just the front, you can turn on the front and turn off the back. Um, and so, yeah, let's start with the front. So when you open up the front, you press the little arrow key. It'll drop down all of the groups. As you can see, there's a design uh, folder where you click here, just design here. So we'll go ahead and take a design from my computer uh, we'll go in here and we'll grab a design from my AMOC folder and we'll grab, I'm trying to think of something that looks cool though at the same time. Um, let's go ahead and grab, I'd be so indecisive and this is a YouTube tutorial, which is crazy, but let's go ahead and grab, let's go ahead and grab this, I guess per se. Uh, actually that won't work. Damn. Uh, okay. All right, let's grab this, right? I want to put this over here. Uh, you can put it just like that. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Nothing too crazy at all. The great thing about this mock-up pack is that you can make it acid wash. You get what I'm saying? You can. Uh, I'll show you guys in this tutorial as well how to turn this into an acid wash black and white hoodie. Um, there's a different ways you can do it. The simplest way, I'll show you guys both ways just so that you guys have them because one might be easier for you, one might be a little bit more complex. Um, D, I'll show you, basically I'll say the DB way and I'll say the BA way. Uh -huh. So we'll start with the DB way. So I have my design on here, but I kind of want to make this like an acid wash, right? I don't want it to just be a black hoodie. I want to have like maybe like a tone to it. Um, I forget what the right word is, but I kind of want it to go from black to kind of grayish, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and either you can do it in your design layer or you can do it at the top of the front, wherever it is. So go ahead and create a new layer. If you go to the bottom right, just click that. It'll create a new layer. Um, you want to go to your brushes. So if you have Photoshop installed already, it comes with special effects brushes, right? And if you go down here and you go to the cow splatter brushes, you should see cow splatter, supreme splatter. This is the DB way, by the way. So if you click that and make sure your caps lock isn't on like me. Um, and you just want to go ahead and just like just make sure your color is white. Like you can go like kind of like grayish, whichever color it is. I'll go like right here. -ish. Um, and you kind of just like put it all over the hoodie. I kind of go, oop, I'm sorry, I went too far back. I kind of go like this. what I'm saying kind of like this I kind of want it to be like half split and this is my first time doing this so I hope that I'm doing it right uh, and then you guys drop down into filters going to blur 
and go to Gosh and Blur. He told me to do it at 190, he said. Yeah, 190. And as you can see, it kind of like gives you that pigment on the hoodie, um, that whatever you're looking for. And if you kind of like change up the uh, overlay, it kind of gives you different effects from what you're looking for. Um, but a better way of doing this is kind of like making it a little bit more accurate. So like, let's say I kind of want the, like the little quick like this, um, add some up here, make it a little smaller. You can go like this and like this, right? And then I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 190. As you can see, it gives me that uh, what's it called? Acid wash look that I know everybody's going to be killing this winter time for your brand. So I know you guys going to be using this a lot. This is how you do it. You can put it on this hoodie pack. You can really do this on, I believe this should work on almost any mock-up pack, but specifically the one that we just dropped DBXBA zip up pack. It works unbelievably well. So if you guys haven't already, please go on the website in the bio, creambastudios.shop and cop this pack. There's a bunch of other packs as well. Absolutely amazing resources for your brand. Beanies, long sleeves, zip up hoodie, regular hoodie, anything like that. It's completely and utterly essential for your clothing line. I promise you guys. So this is the quick way to do it. Um, the DB way. And the brush is called Cow, Cow Spatter Brush. Supreme spatter. Um, I believe any of these should kind of work. I'm not sure. This is the only one that I've used and this is the one DB told me to use, but, um, yeah, it's automatically in your Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, it should already be in there. It's not like you have to go install anything or anything like that. Um, I'll show you guys another way that I like to do it. Um, that this is kind of the way that I learned how to do it basically. And it's the same thing with the brush, but it's just with a, a regular brush. So if you go here and you just have, let's say just a regular brush on, right. And let's go to, uh, like white or whichever color. What I like to do is I like to come here, make sure that my hardness is all the way at zero. You always want to make sure your hardness is on zero when you're doing this. And you want to make sure that you put your opacity down extremely low. I kind of go like 10, 12%. When you start, you can kind of like test where it is. Um, I have mine on like 11%. And all I really do is just go over it. You know what I mean? So like, let's say I just want the top, the top to kind of be like that lighter color. And it kind of just like flow with the hoodie. You can also do it like this. Now, this is the way that I do it. You get what I'm saying? This is the way that I always uh, did it when I was working with this mock-up pack. And you can play with it as well. You can change like the the uh, blend mode and like the opacity as well in case like, oh, I didn't like how strong it is. You know what I mean? You can lower it a bit. Um, I'd suggest putting it below your design, obviously, but you can kind of lower it down um, to wherever you see fit. And this is the way that I do it. I think it's a bit easier just because you can kind of control where it is that your acid wash is going to be. Um, so like, oops, I'm trying to delete this. It's not deleting. Okay. I'm not sure what that's about, but yeah. So let's say I kind of want to do it in where it's like random or like, uh, kind of make a smaller brush and kind of just go like, this, but like, I, I think the splatter works better if you're kind of just going for that, like anywhere type of, uh, watch. Cause with this one, it's kind of like, you have to be a little bit more specific, even with your hardness down, it's kind of hard to really depict like a randomness when you're the one actually doing the randomness. So the splatter kind of works better in terms of like, just like a random acid wash. Um, I think this brush works well in terms of like doing stuff like this. I want to go like this or whatever it is, you know, and I can make it stronger by, by hitting the brush a couple more times and see so yeah. it. And this works for the front and the back. Um, obviously it's whichever your preference is. And so, yeah, that's just what you do. If you want to make the mock-up pack acid wash again, this pack is on my website, KareemBASTudios.shop. Go get it. It's absolutely fantastic. Front end bag zip up. It's the best 
zip up pack you can get on the market. I don't think there's one better. I don't think you can find one better if you do send it to me. Um, but yeah, go grab this. It's absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.